Hey y'all, welcome back to Krista's Kitchen. So today we have seven freezer meals for y'all. I'm gonna break them up into two separate videos just so it doesn't get too long. But we've got some dump and go crock pot recipes that we're gonna stack in the freezer and get ready for like these fall games that are coming up and just to have things ready, especially if we're not feeling good, you can still have a good home cooked meal. So the three that we're doing in this video is going to be our cube steak and gravy, our vegetable soup and lima bean soup so really comfort food and then we're gonna have another video that I'll post in a day or two with the other four um, and we already posted a few last week or the week before uh, but this is to help you stock up your freezer and get ready so that you can spend more time with your family going to pumpkin patches and Christmas festivals and all of that and then we know that the respiratory illnesses are coming so you won't feel like cooking but this will help you dump something in the crock pot and get back to your normal everyday life so I'm gonna zoom y'all in and we'll get started First going in is about two cups of chopped cabbage. I'm just gonna kind of break that into the bottom of it. We're gonna add a lot of carrots. Carrots have a lot of nutrition and um, density without a ton of calories. So you'll see I, I prep my veggies and everything all at once and ahead of time. But you want about eight medium carrots. So just going to put in about four big handfuls or so just kind of eyeball it but the original recipe calls for eight medium so don't worry if you're worried about how many scoops I do just the eight six to the eight medium and then you want two large onions now you could even cut this recipe in half if this is too much for you so I'm doing two cups of diced onion to equal my well I'll probably go a little bit more let's do about two and a half cups there we go about half a cup and then we want four celery ribs chopped We're going to do two tablespoons of minced garlic, two teaspoons of chicken base, and then when we get ready to cook it, we'll add two cups of water along with our other um, liquids. But this just makes it so much easier for me, and I don't know, I just, I've fallen in love with chicken base. I'll probably never go back. I mean, I still have some chicken broth and I use that. I keep it just so I don't run out of anything. Uh, let's see, we're gonna add in a can of green beans. Kind of shake this down. There's not too much more going into it, but we still need room. A can of corn. I flung a corn down into the garlic. Now we're going to add in our seasonings. So we need one and a, one and a half teaspoons of parsley. So one and a half. We need a teaspoon of salt. Half teaspoon. Oh, that was only a half teaspoon. A half teaspoon of pepper coming up. do use low sodium um, canned vegetables just because I feel like there's a lot of sodium down in them anyway so I don't worry too much with my salt level for this because I, I tend to check it and underdo the salt even though that looks like quite a bit this will feed about 15 20 people once this is all said and done uh, let's see two teaspoons of oregano
and one teaspoon of thyme. You could also use basil in here if you like. I'm going to unclamp it from here. We have one more thing going down in it, but I want to kind of settle the back. And then a can of whole potatoes. Now, whenever we get ready to cook, we will just pour this out into the crock pot. And as you see, I always pre-label my bag. So we'll add four cups of V8. I've found that you get so much nutrients with V8 and the flavor is amazing. Two cups of water because we did the chicken base. But again, you can use two cups of chicken broth instead and two cans of diced tomatoes, not drained. But all the instructions are right on the bag. We're gonna move this one over to our bin to hold and we'll get going on the next two. Okay, y'all, the next recipe we have is our steak and gravy. So this uses cubed steak. We have a little less than a pound and a half, um, and that'll be okay. I typically like about a pound and a half to two pounds, but this is truly all the grocery store had, so it's what we're going with. But we're gonna toss in a packet of au jus gravy mix, a packet of Lipton onion soup mix, and y'all see that I'm putting the soup mixes in the bottom first. I like to kind of uh, zhuzh them with my hands to mix in with the cream soups, just so whenever it all gets the crock pot together, it will um, it'll all be mixed around. A can of cream of mushroom soup. And then we'll add in a can of cream of chicken soup. Or we're tossing in cream of chicken soup. And then our cube steak and we'll zhuzh it all around. And this freezer meal will be ready to go also. Now our last recipe on this one is lima bean soup, which the kids love. If y'all have ever heard, there's a book, um, it's not a Moody Judy or Judy Moody book, but something like that, Bad Case of Stripes, that's what it is. Um, and my daughter got addicted to reading it whenever she was learning to read. And then my son Thatcher, he's really obsessed with it because he loves lima beans. And in this story, the little girl loves lima beans also, but she's scared to tell anybody because it seems so weird. So he loves it and in essence, he ends up loving the lima bean soup. He just, he thinks it's his soup and that's, it's just made for him. But it does always want to make him read that book again. And I struggle to find it sometimes in the mix of all their 900 books. But we're going to get this one moved to the side, the countertop cleaned off, and we'll move on to the lima bean soup. So we do have the instructions again on the front for at the very end. If you don't have the chicken base, remember chicken broth. So three teaspoons of chicken base. And when it comes time to drop this in the crock pot, I'll add three cups of water. And this equates to three cups of chicken broth. And it's just estimates. So if you feel like it's too thick, too thin, you do you. You need about a half a stick of butter. So uh, that's a quarter of a cup because each stick is a half of a cup. So I'm just doing that. And yes, this is margarine instead of real butter. I do know, but that's what we use in the place of butter. We need two bags of frozen lima beans. You can also use canned lima beans. I would not use fresh as um, fresh you really need to soak and they're going to take a lot longer. You would need, um, yeah, probably about two or three cans of lima beans to equal the two bags. Let's see. These are 12 ounces and each can should be about 14 point half, so maybe they're pretty close. You just have to see how much liquid is in them. Two cups of diced onion or a large diced onion. 
two stalks of celery. So I'm gonna use about a third of a cup. Half a cup of chopped bell pepper or one medium bell pepper. Three carrots worth of chopped carrots. About two tablespoons of minced garlic, a half teaspoon of pepper, a half teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of oregano. I don't like raw potatoes in my freezer meals. I feel like they get this weird texture to them. So I do buy and prefer the canned potatoes. But for this, I kind of dice them up, or not dice them, quarter them up for this recipe because I don't want it to be a potato soup. I want it to be a lima bean soup and then you just get those little chunks of potato. Now when you get ready to toss this in the crock pot, you'll want to add your cups of water and then you'll add some half and half in the last 30 minutes to give it that creaminess. Now you do not want to boil your dairy product. So add it in the last few minutes and you can even turn the crock pot off. You don't even have to have it on. It will still be hot enough to heat that half and half all the way through. You can top it with some bacon, which the kids really like. Um, we don't mix it in just because I don't like the texture of soft bacon, but some bacon on top. There we have it. I'm gonna get started on the other four for the next video. Like I said, I just didn't want this to end up being too long is the only reason we're splitting it up but we'll get those put in the oven now remember think about the size of your crock pot whenever you're making these also if you have a small like four quart crock pot this is going to be filled to the brim um, you won't be able to make the things like the New Brunswick soup that we make all that um, that's gonna need the larger crock pot but think about it when how you're freezing them too I know a lot of people like to freeze theirs flat but then what do you do when you have a round crock pot so if you if you want if you're making these one day at a time take the bag and freeze it down in your crock pot just like this so that whenever it's ready like it's fully frozen you just pull it out but when you go to dump it in the crock pot it's the exact size that you need it for that's our lima bean soup. Thank y'all so much for joining us and we'll see y'all um, on our next few in just a little bit.